Howdy YouTube, so this video is going to be about Intel ME Cleaner, Core Boot, and the X201. So this isn't quite an X201, it's a X201 motherboard inside a X200 with a lid from an X200S. So, but it's close enough. So, when I originally started this project, I kind of messed up some of the core boot configurations. So if you actually look at uh, all the ROMs here, a lot of them didn't work. I'll put a little video above that. But the um, once I did get a working uh, core boot ROM, um, I decided to try to get ME Cleaner working on it. So I did also flash a OEM ME Cleaner BIOS image, and I will tell you, it will work completely with a minute delay in startup, and your fan won't work out of the box. You have to install something like ThinkFan on Linux. I don't know what you'd have to install on Windows, but the fan doesn't work unless you do that. So, rather than that, it seems like it it work, um, but when you combine them, when you combine Core Boot and an e cleaner, you get something that won't post. So, well, there's a few options with me cleaner, and I went through the some of the forum posts on GitHub, and I found someone that did get it working on a T410, and the T410 is kind of similar to the X201 because they're both. Uh, same series of Intel processors and what he did is he did a soft disable and that worked for him and then he stripped out everything except the EFS partition and tried that and both of them worked on the T410S T410 so I tried just doing the soft disable the X201 and core boot and it worked kinda except it didn't start up reliably unless I changed the hardware configuration somehow so if you wanted to post, uh, you'd have to add or remove a stick of RAM, which uh, kind of impractical for a laptop. You know, I can't really, you know, I can't imagine myself being in like some university class and pulling out a screwdriver and being, like, you know, just got to replace my RAM so my computer starts up at the beginning of the class. So I uh, tried something else. I tried the second thing, which is just stripping out all the partitions except EFS. EFFS? Anyways, though, with that one partition in and the regular places that ME Cleaner doesn't strip, it will actually um, post and post reliably. Shutdowns are messed up, but if your computer starts up all the time, that's really all you need. So, also, it appears to spend the RAM is working, but so there's some core boot uh, bug reports of the function keys not working after, but I haven't noticed it. I don't use function keys very often, so who knows? So the problems, I guess. It doesn't shut down all the time. It only shuts down probably one out of ten times. Press the power button and it starts to shut down and just kind of hangs. Um, so that's not the best. So there are a few solutions I haven't tried, which might work a little bit better. For one, uh, I might have some success getting the, I guess, ME file from the uh, T410 BIOS, which might work on the X201, and I might be able to do a soft disable then and have it start up reliably, but I haven't tried that. The other thing that I could do is there's actually a core boot patch that was meant to add like some sort of delay somewhere so it would wait for the uh, ME to start up and get uh, ME cleaner working with uh, core boot. Or, I'm probably explaining it badly, but the patch didn't end up working, but you could try that too if you wanted to see if that might somehow fix shutdowns. The other thing I was thinking about trying is just compiling 
like a series of like core boot ROMs made with ME cleaner, each missing one partition, and see which ones break certain things. But that is uh I, I don't I don't really have the time to go compile eight different core boot ROMs at a minimum and then test each one and I don't know. I'll probably do it at some point, but it kind of does work. I think what I'm going to end up doing in the end, though, is basically just turning this back into an X200S, but with a few modifications, such as Weebra Boot. The nice thing about this uh, computer, though, is you could add the Intel microcode for Spectre patches. They don't... Uh, Intel never released anything for that, for uh, any of the Core Duo chips. Just uh, the i-series stuff, even though this is the first generation. Um, I think it's Westmere. But I guess this is kind of getting a little bit rambly. So this is the X200 or X201 slash X200 slash X200S computer. And it kind of works with Core Boot and ME Cleaner. If any of you else are interested in trying that, because you'll be able to get uh, an X-Series computer with 1610, 1440 by 900, and relatively free. Okay, have a good one. Bye.